All right, so if you have a Lenovo IdeaPad or you're just experiencing this same issue where even with a brand new hard drive or SSD, it's not showing up in the Windows installer, um, this laptop model is specifically a, where is it? IdeaPad 5-15 ITL05, so 5-15 ITL05. All right, anyways, if your computer is booting like this, um, if you have a Lenovo IdeaPad 5, let me show you how you would do this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the computer off. You're gonna need a needle or a pin or even a small paper clip. Or I just use a uh, whatever I have on hand. I have a small screwdriver. They have this little one key recovery button. So depending on what model computer you have, um, the Lenovo's tend to have this kind of one key recovery where it shows this little arrow here where it's kind of like doing a U-turn or something. Um, so if your computer has that, we're going to use a small pin. Some of them will have an actual button, but anyways, we're just going to use that to push that. You want to do it while the computer's off. You can see that pushing that button turned it on. Okay. Once you've done that, you're going to want to go to the BIOS setup, press enter. We're going to go to, um, configuration. In the configuration, you want to go to this Intel VMD controller. We're going to press enter and we're going to disable that. Press enter again. Here you can see now it says SATA, con uh, SATA controller mode, uh, AHCI, and that's what you want. Then we're going to exit saving changes. Um, after that, you can actually boot from your USB by using that button. If your computer turns on and doesn't boot from your Windows USB installer, um, turn off the computer, push the little button again, and then you can go to boot excuse me, boot options. But here you go, we can go to Windows 10, 64-bit installer setup. So I'm gonna go in there, we'll let this run. Okay, it'll take a little while. Um, I don't know what's going on with this, but the trackpad on there thing doesn't work, but it's touchscreen, so um, I guess it's not that big of a deal. The customer was just like, it's touchscreen, it's fine, just use that. <laughs> so anyways, we'll see how long it takes to boot up. <clears throat> But uh, the initial one, we basically went through this. And then what you do, um, if you when you get to this, you just go to next. I just press tab until we get to the next button and then press enter. Install now, press enter. Okay, we'll wait for this to go as well. And once this finishes starting up, we are going to, okay, push the space bar to accept the terms. Then press enter, okay. It will go here. I'm going to press tab to go to custom install windows. All right. It says it's an advanced. Here you can see I did wipe out the drive in advance using the command prompt, <clears throat> but here you can see unallocated space. All right. I believe once you install windows, you can turn that feature back on. I'll give that a shot and see what happens. But here you can see unallocated space. All right. And I'm just going to press enter to go next. And this should install to that drive. So yeah, after that, you can go ahead and wait through this entire install. It's gonna take a while, um, but once this install is completed, uh, we are going to, um, <clears throat> once, once this completes, we're basically going to try going back to the BIOS and see what happens if I re-enable that Intel VMD or whatever um, uh, setting. We wanna make sure that if that setting is on, that it will still boot to Windows. Earlier it was showing on their thing um, that it was getting stuck. It was showing like the boot like um, was having problems and sometimes we could get it to boot and it would go to BitLocker but then they didn't remember their BitLocker Microsoft account stuff. So we have to do this. All right, anyways, um, I don't know if you wanna stay through to watch how long this thing actually takes to install. Depending on your computer and your setup, if you have a nice SSD processor and things like that, it might go quicker. Um, if you don't, it might take longer. But yeah, here you can see it's uh, just going at its speed. Usually once this one finishes, these ones go pretty quick. So yeah, just keep that in mind. All right, I'm just gonna be standing here holding this here. You're welcome to just fast forward over through it, um, but I'm gonna be holding this to see. Uh, all right. Let's see, all right, still going.
Okay, you can see 86%. Still going. 94. All right, this process does take a while. Alright, you can see these last few parts go really fast. I'm going to press enter so it reboots sooner, and I'm actually going to turn it off, as I mentioned earlier. So I turned it off, power button's off, I pushed the power button while it was starting up. We're going to see what happens if we re-enable Intel VMD, if it will still work. So we're going to push that little button again. Okay, because we want to see if it will boot even with that setting. Um, so now we're going to go to BIOS setup again. Configuration, Intel VMD controller, enable, and then we're going to exit saving changes, and let's see if it actually boots up or if you have to leave that setting off. Um, I'm not too sure what that setting is for, but uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Is it going to boot? I think it's booting. So I don't know why, but that initial setup, I think the reason it doesn't work is because the motherboard doesn't have the built-in or the installer doesn't have the built-in drivers for that VMD Intel VMD controller thing and because of that um, it doesn't let the when you try and boot from here it doesn't let it see the SSD because it doesn't have the proper drivers to see the SSD under that setting but once you install it it looks like as you can see it's booting and it's going to go into the installer, I'm pretty sure. Um, okay, it's restarting itself again. So I think it's going. <clears throat> Come on. And if this works, then we should be good to go. I'm just going to have to reinstall Windows on everything. Okay, so we'll let this finish. Come on. Once I see it going beyond the Windows um, stuff, when it sh starts up showing it's continuing the installation, then I'll consider it successful. And that'll be pretty much it for this video. It's restarting again. Hopefully it's actually booting Windows. Come on. Maybe it's just going to keep restarting like this. So if that's the case, then that means you have to leave that Intel VMD controller setting off. Let's see. I don't know. It's restarting several times. Nothing's really happening, as you can see. It just keeps spinning around and around. Come on, do something. I think it's just going to keep restarting. If that's the case, I'm going to turn it off. We're going to turn that Intel VMD thing back off. Yep, I think it's just going to keep doing it. So if that's the case, we're going to have to shut this off, turn the Intel VMD thing back, controller back off, and we're going to have to leave it off because it shouldn't be restarting like this so many times. At least I don't remember Windows installer doing this. So I don't know what's up with that setting that causes problems. You probably have to install all the drivers and everything before you can turn that back on and then maybe it will work. Or maybe if you install Windows 11 it'll work, I don't know. It's going to just turn off again. Okay, let me shut this off now. Okay, so we turn that off again and now we're going to push the one key recovery button again. Okay, we're going to turn the Intel VMD thing off and then we are going to, so let's go to BIOS setup again, configuration, Intel, uh, where's, where'd it go? Oh, Intel VMD controller, disable, okay, exit saving changes, and hopefully now it's just going to boot the Windows installer and continue just like normal, and if it does, then we're good to go. All right, let's see here. Okay, let's see if it does something different than just shutting the screen off after this.
So here you can see the Lenovo thing already went, so I have a good, a good feeling it's already good to go. Yep. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. But other than that, that's all there is to it. If you really wanted to load the SSD with that um, setting, I think you can uh, get a Intel VMD driver and then you can actually save it on your Windows installer. And then when you get to that part where it doesn't detect the hard drive, you can actually load that driver. But um, yeah, uh, I don't see why you would need that. If you do, you can probably do a little Googling and you'll find out how to do it. And I don't know what that Intel VMD thing does, but you can probably Google that as well. All right, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. And well, let me see what else, if it goes to the next screen after this. I'm sure it will. Yeah, see how much quicker it's like doing these changes. But um, yeah. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.